Okay guys, so today we have a sneaker mystery box. Not from Cool Kicks. Thankfully, it's not from Cool Kicks. I'm sure by now you guys have seen the $4,000 video and the follow-up video for the $4,000 video. So as you guys know, we're not buying from there anymore. It's done. We're not doing that anymore. Oh man, I laugh about it because I lost so much money, but... It Whatever. Anyway, uh, this one is from Soul Supremacy. Back to our basics, back to what we know. And this one is going to be $1,200 from Soul Supremacy. Uh, and it should be a good one, guys. I'm hoping that we get some better value from this than we did from the Cool Kicks box. I'm smiling and I'm kind of laughing this whole time because, man, I still can't believe like how nuts that box was. Anyway, $1,200 mystery box coming up right after this. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untitled Warrior here coming at you with another video. In this video, we have a Soul Supremacy beater box. Sneaker mystery box premiere, $1,200. I'm hoping we got some heat because that last box is a dud. I'm kind of sketched out by like thinking about sneaker mystery boxes and thinking about taking another L, but Soul Supremacy has been very good to us in the past. So I'm hoping that, you know, it kind of restores my faith in the mystery boxes, restores my faith in like, you know, finding good shoes in these boxes that are like actually not bricks. So. That's what we're hoping for guys, and we're gonna be getting into it really quick. But before we do, I do wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. Rose Gold and Black is hands down the premier jewelry company that you guys need to go to if you guys are looking for like minimalistic style. Whether you're wearing good sneakers, you know, and good streetwear, you gotta have accessories that kind of accentuate that style. And I'm actually wearing two pieces from them today. Number one is the grenade necklace, which I love. It's probably like top three for sure. And then number two over here, is that feathered wing necklace and a lot of people have been copying like both of these pieces so that's very great i love hearing that anyway if you guys are interested in copying pieces from rose gold and black go down to the description below click on that link and it will take you to rose gold and black where you can get 30 percent off your order not 25 anymore guys 30 percent. and you guys can see there's a whole bunch of good selection on the site not only do they sell very hype necklaces they also got like bracelets and stuff on there as well and the prices are just unbeatable guys like it's very high quality stuff for very affordable prices so Highly recommend you guys check it out. Now let's get into this box. $1,200 from Soul Supremacy. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well this isn't looking good guys. <laughs> I might've spoke too soon. I might've spoke too soon. Um, the reason why I'm like freaked out is because a lot of these shoes don't have boxes and none of these on like the top are Jordan. I don't know what the colorway is. You guys can check it out over here. It's not a bad colored shoe, it's just I don't know, it doesn't feel like a hype shoe, you know? And this one is actually a size 12.5. I wanna say that the shoe was like used once cause these bottoms are like pretty clean. Hopefully some decent value here. If you guys are interested in like buying any of the shoes in this box and check out untiedhawaii.com. I sell all of the shoes on there. If you guys are channel members, you guys are part of the channel membership, don't forget to use your $10 off coupon. If you guys don't know what the channel memberships are, just hit the join button below the video. You guys gotta be on desktop and it shows you all that information. Really cool stuff. Secret drop coming soon, so stay tuned for that. A lot of free shoes and a lot of free Hypebeast clothing on there. Okay, so next one out, we got another Air Max. This one's bringing the camo vibes though. Uh, this one is in a size 13. Nice kind of like salmon or like orangish colors breaking up like all of that camo, so that's cool. This one is also in very, very good condition. Uh, this one might be dead stock, I can't tell. You guys can see over here, it looks pretty clean. But this one also has no box, so you can't really sell it as dead stock. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know, some kind of, what the heck is this thing? It's a CDG shoe? Okay, this one is in a size 12. I don't know what kind of shoe this is, guys. You guys can look at it over here. Uh, says CDG, Comme des Garcons on the side, but this honestly looks like one of the shoes that you wear in like back of house food service industry, you know, like non-slip shoes, because it's just very basic and it's just plain, guys. I don't get it. But you guys can see in here, it does say black, Comme des Garcons. CDG is a hype brand, but I don't <laughs> know if there's any value here. So if you guys are interested in this one, check it out. Okay, so we got another one without a box. This one is like the Air Force acronym, I believe. Um, and it's in a size 12 as well. You guys can check it out over here. Unique Air Force, because it does have the zipper running down the side. Zipper, zip. Yeah, zipper running on the side. So different. Uh, you guys can also see that acronym branding over here. The bottoms are pretty dirtied up. So yeah, it is a very worn shoe. Other shoe looks about the same. Oh, other shoe is worse. Other shoe you guys can see over here. A lot of like yellowing and stuff over here. So we'll try to clean that up. Still a lot of loose shoes though, guys. <laughs> like a lot. Because we got a couple pairs of the Zoom Fly. Uh, these are size 12. They are used. You guys can check it out over here. 
Zoom flies, they're running shoes. They have like a translucent kind of look right over here where you guys can see through like the upper. Um, Comfort is, it's okay, it's not bad, but for running, I'm just not a big fan of using these. This one is in a size 12 though, but we also have another one. This one is in a size 12 as well. This one's like a yellow one. I'll put it up over here real quick. But yeah, basically the exact same thing. If you guys want running shoes, let me know, size 12s. So we are halfway through this box. I'm not feeling it. I am kind of nervous. I'm very nervous. I do see this box right here. This is a Nike Air Max 97, size nine. Okay, I don't know what this is. This must be like a, some kind of collab shoe with the Air Max 97 because it is very unique. And yeah, it's not in bad condition at all. This one is used. I think it's like been tried on, maybe worn once. But overall, solid condition. You guys can see Stockland over here. Another sign that it has been used. I don't know if there's good value there though. Next out, we got a Dunk Low SB, okay, in a size nine. Ooh, okay, interesting. So we got a pair of the Hemp SBs. These are actually kind of a good shoe. So you can check it out over here, Hemp SBs. They call it the Hemp because of this upper. Um, and these actually have some solid resale value. This one doesn't look too bad. I mean, considering the age of the shoe, it's not like in very, very worn condition. Bottoms are dirtied up, but upper looks clean. These actually fetch some decent resale. So I'm hoping that this is some kind of small boost to the counter. Not extremely hyped because SB is like a niche market now. Anyway, size nine. Hemp SB. Three boxes left. I still don't see very hype shoes. Uh, this one is an Air Force 107 PRM JDI, size 11, that's a mouthful. Oh no, okay. So this is the Just Do It Air Force One. Oh boy, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. I was not a big fan of the Just Do It line because it just looks all over the place, man. I feel like they tried to go with like the off-white theme of just like kind of like mixing it up and throwing a whole bunch of stuff on there. It's just, I don't think it was executed very well. You guys see like a Nike patch over here. Interesting Nike just do it patch up here. The swoosh has like a holographic effect where it says just do it like when you move it back and forth. If you guys want this one though, I'm sure it's not going for a lot of money. I don't think it's very hyped. Depression starting to kick in, man. PTSD in full effect here. Please save us with the next two shoes. There is a chance, there's a slight chance. Um, this one is a size seven, easy boost. Dead stock? No, not dead stock. Okay. Uh, we do have a pair of the breads though. You guys can see over here. Uh, Yeezy breads in a size seven. And this is a clean pair. You guys can see inside Adidas Yeezy still fully intact. Good sign that it hasn't been worn a lot. Bottoms, that boost is actually very clean. So I would say that it was maybe worn once, maybe twice. So very good condition. Size seven is not a bad size for these. So there should be a buyer, I hope. Last box is a Jordan 1 box. Uh, this one is a kid size too. It looks like a size 6Y. And we have a pair of Game Royals, I guess. Game Royals. This one is not dead stock either. Um, you guys can check it out over here. Jordan 1 Game Royals. Underappreciated shoe in my opinion. Basically the poor man's Jordan 1 fragments. No fragment design here, but the colors and stuff and the color blocking is pretty darn close to the fragments. So I think it's a good shoe. And I honestly feel like this is one of those that will continue to rise in value over time. They're not doing great in resale now but just wait in like a year or two they'll be going up anyway that is it for this box you guys saw the counter on the screen i don't know what the values are until after the video and i do these calculations but if there is good value that's nice i just don't know where it's coming from if there is obviously that yeezy boost 350 like is probably at least half the box which is good the jordan one and the hemp is probably another like 300 400 bucks which is also good and then the rest kind of reminiscent of like you know quantity over quality so We'll see if we can make money on this box. Um, you guys can help with that though. If you guys do want to purchase any of these shoes and don't forget to go to untiedhoy.com, check it out. If you guys are channel members, use your channel member code, $10 off for that. Anyway, that is it guys. Um, I, <laughs> I thought I was gonna be super stoked after this box. I'm not that stoked, but I guess that's why there's sneaker mystery boxes. Like it's never guaranteed that you're gonna get heat like in every single box. What I've known from Soul Supremacy is that I will move all of these shoes, whereas in the cool case boxes, there was no guarantee for that because the conditions were just so messed up and so all over the place. So we will see. Uh, this might be a good one for after the unboxing series, but time will tell. Anyway, last thing for this video, if you guys haven't entered into the Jordan 1 Travis Scott giveaway, I highly recommend you guys do that. That will be running until June 1st, and I'm almost positive this video will be released before then. So go to the comments and check the pinned comments. Basically what happened is that I collaborated with Seth Fowler, you know, sneakers biggest YouTuber right now, doing great, killing the scene, very, very humble and great guy. We collaborated so that we could give away a pair of Jordan 1 Travis Scott's for free. All you guys have to do to enter is basically subscribe to me and Seth's channel, 
follow us on Instagram and Twitter and comment done on the original video, which is linked in the comments as well. So comment done on there because that's where we'll be picking the winners from. But yeah, you have some time for that. So don't forget to enter. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, stay humble, stay blessed. Take care, guys. I will see you. Aloha. Shoots.